All right, let's test out the new AI in Adobe Illustrator. Let's say a crashed UFO. <laughs> I mean, it suits the, the image, sure. Has the same kind of uh, contrast, saturation colors. Let's say an alligator. All right. That's kind of cool. All right, so what happens if there's no background image? What will this generate? A teddy bear. Wow, that is a very detailed vector teddy bear. That is really cool. Some different variations. What if I just say 2D? Will it make it flat? Not quite. <laughs> Alright, so here's an image of The Simpsons. What happens if I try and create an illustration with this. I wonder if it'll copy this same art style. Simply dog. Nope. So I do notice that it does have a match active artboard style checked here. So let's try and convert this image into a vector with just a uh, high fidelity image trace. Now I'll expand that. So now our background image is actually a vector image. So let's see if this does now copy the artwork style. Still no. Well, kind of, actually. There's a black outline, but it's still way too detailed for this, obviously. This on its own is a really cool illustration. Like, I could see this being used for, like, a children's book, for example. The only trouble you'd have with that is trying to keep your character looking consistent throughout all of the different pages. Big juicy burger. Cute baby dragon blowing fire, character cartoon smiling. So you can specify more uh, detailed things about your illustration. Okay, so let's try doing a uh, black and white line drawing. So let's do snake, black and white line drawing. A little bit closer, but still more than two, three colors. All right, let's try a Minecraft painting. What is this? I feel like there's gonna be lots of mobile games that just use generated assets now. So get ready for that. A pop can. This is like the same artwork style that's in uh, Life is Strange. All right, just like this kind of art here, where it's clearly just a quickly made vector art. Now it can just be generated like this. So let's try and add our own picture here. Let's say a uh, rock band poster. Now oh, these suck. I mean, this one kind of works. Not too bad. Let's add a cat. This style kind of works actually, minus the uh, birds, I assume. Let's try and expand this background uh, with the high fidelity. Wow, it's crazy how that like did not change. I mean, it makes sense because this is the style of the artwork, but yeah, it's cool. Now let's see if we can get a better cat illustration generated. So let's go ahead and generate cat and let's bring the detail back to two, which is default. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. So it's really a hit or miss. As you can see, I don't think human designers are going away anytime soon. I think this is mostly going to help speed up the workflow of designers, including myself, and I'm looking forward to experimenting more with AI in both Illustrator and Photoshop. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe and also leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.